The following video is presented by the Computer History Archives Project. Identifying Early Vacuum Tubes from Remington Rand Univac Today, we take a brief look at some vintage vacuum tubes from Remington Rand Univac. The first one is the oldest in our collection. It is a tube type, 5823, a 7-pin, tube and cage combination. The vacuum tube plugs into a cage unit, which then plugs into the circuit board of the computer. This tube and cage unit dates from 1949, and was used in the Remington Rand 409 calculating punch computer. The 409 used hundreds of such tubes. It was not widely marketed in 1949. However, in 1950, Remington Rand purchased the Eckert Mockley Computer Company, makers of Univac, and the 409 was finally marketed in two models. The Univac Model 60, released in 1952, and the Univac 120, released in 53. These were primitive, non-stored program machines, they were programmed using a wired plug board. About 1,000 of these were made in total, selling for over $90,000 each, equivalent to over $1 million today. Each unit utilized about 800 of the tube and cage units. The tube and cage units were each about 4 and 3 quarters inches high. The tubes were likely made by RCA, and branded with the Remington Rand name. The US government purchased a fair number of these systems up until 1961. The 872A, Mercury Rectifier Tube The next tube we examine is the large, 872-A, half-wave, Mercury Rectifier Tube. And yes, it actually contains mercury. Here, if you look closely, you can see the liquid mercury inside the glass tube. This tube is 8 and 1 quarter inches high, and weighs about 6.4 ounces. They have a 4-pin base. The two shown here were made by General Electric and given the Univac brand name. They were used in high voltage applications and needed to be treated with care. The letters J A N refer to Joint, Army Navy, and indicates that the tubes were made to specific military specifications, usually referred to as mill specs. These rectifier tubes were used to convert AC current to DC, to power electronic equipment, such as large computers and radio transmitters. If you come across these giant tubes, treat them with extreme caution, especially when actively powered. The 25L6GT Vacuum Tube. The 25L6GT is an octal-based, beam-power tetrode, which was used in Univac 1 and Univac 2 computers. Tetrode gets its name from the fact that they have four active elements inside the glass tube. This tube type was also very often used in early radio sets. The tubes shown here have a plastic base with seven pins, designed to fit an octal, or eight-pin socket. Each tube was just over three inches high. The branding shown is slightly different, one says Univac, one says Remington Rand in green lettering, the other lettered in white. Here is an example of how the tubes looked in an original Univac 1 logic board. These boards are slightly over 23 inches long, and weigh between 5 and 6 pounds each. The Univac 1, released in 1951, used around 5,600 tubes, and utilized 13 different tube types. In some cases, one tube type could be substituted for another, but this was a delicate procedure. RCA, General Electric, Sylvania and others all made tubes for Univac, and the branding names were sometimes interchanged. The Univac 2, of 1958, used many similar components to the Univac 1. The 7AK7 Pentode Tube Here is a logic board from a Univac 2. On the left, you will see three octal base 7-pin tubes, with green lettering. These pentode tubes are marked, 7AK7. They were made by the Sylvania Company, specifically for use in computers. Computer manufacturers often required tube specifications of higher reliability and functionality to meet the needs of their systems. The 2050 Thyrotron Tube this Univac 2 board has four type 2050 tubes, called thyrotrons. They are branded Remington Rand. A thyrotron is a gas-filled tube used as a high-power electrical switch and controlled rectifier. Thyrotrons can handle much greater currents than similar non-gas-filled vacuum tubes. These thyrotron tube types are not native to this particular board, 
but are shown for display purposes. The Univac 2 boards measure about 7 inches by 12 inches in size. The 807 Tetrode Vacuum Tube. Lastly, we look briefly at the Remington Rand branded 807 tube. The 807 is a beam tetrode tube, widely used in audio and radio frequency power amplifier applications, and sometimes used as a horizontal output tube in early television receivers, such as those manufactured by the Dumont Corporation. As an historical note, only 46 Univac 1 computers were made. Even fewer Univac Model 2 machines were built. The Univac 3, introduced in 1962 was primarily a transistorized machine. Remington Rand sold 96 of the Univac 3s before it was discontinued. However, by this time, IBM had already taken the lead in large computer sales, and was never fully displaced by Univac or any other large computer maker. That's all for this brief overview. In this segment, we looked at six different tube types and brandings. In a future segment, we will look at a logic module and some of the tube types in an ERA, Univac, 1103 Scientific of 1953. We hope this information has been of interest. Since we are not experts in the specifics of vacuum tube electronics, comments from any vacuum tube experts are most welcome.